In this video, we are going to do an update on Litecoin, or should I rather say Litecoin is going to do an update on the 15th of March. And that is exactly what we're going to talk about in this video. We're going to talk about the implementation of Mimblewimble in Litecoin. So what is Mimblewimble? Where is Litecoin heading to? And what is actually the intention of doing all this? What are the benefits of it? So let's talk about that and let's dive into the video right now. Hey everyone, what is going on? Welcome back here at Young and Investing. For those who are new here, my name is Quinton and if you haven't done that yet, make sure to subscribe by clicking the subscribe button down below to stay updated with everything crypto related and also make sure to hit that like button if you think it was a good video so more people will be able to watch my videos. Now, let me introduce you to Mimblewimble and of course it's sounding like very weird, right? Uh, and that is because Mimblewimble is a spell from the Harry Potter series. And in the Harry Potter series, Mimblewimble is actually a spell to make sure that people are not spilling any secrets. And the same thing is actually true for Mimblewimble in cryptocurrencies. There are already some cryptocurrencies that are using Mimblewimble, such as Grin and Beam. There was a hype a few years ago around these two cryptocurrencies. But right now, Litecoin picked this up again and Litecoin is going to implement Mimblewimble as well and make sure that no secrets are spilled. Now, let me show you the problem with what Mimblewimble needs to solve for Litecoin. And for that, I want to show you actually the Bitcoin Explorer because of course, Litecoin is very similar to Bitcoin. They even say like, uh, Litecoin is the silver to Bitcoin's gold. But let me show you what you can see if you have like a transaction, a random transaction or even a random block. But we're go just going to take like a, a random transaction to show you what the problem is with Bitcoin as well as Litecoin. But you often hear like Litecoin is uh, the silver to Bitcoin's gold. So let me just show you this on the Bitcoin network where it will continue to look like this into the future. So let's take this big transaction right here of uh, 2.77 Bitcoin. And basically here you can see who is sending the transaction and to which person. This is actually like um, um, uh, sending out to a lot of addresses, but you can simply see like who is sending how much Bitcoin to another person. So basically you can see three things. That is the sender, this person's address. You can see how much this person is sending like here 2.77 Bitcoin. And you can also see the receiver, his or her address. And in this case addresses. So many addresses right here, uh, and you can see all the people receiving some of the Bitcoin being sent out from this person. And in crypto, you have a lot of people who don't like this. They want Bitcoin to be entirely anonymous and not only pseudonymous like it is right now. So that means that you can still see like the receiver, um, the sender and the amounts that this person is sending um, on an explorer like this. And some people want this to be entirely anonymous. And the solution for that, there are of course several solutions, but one of them that also brings like privacy and scalability is Mimblewimble. And that is of course also why there was such a hype around Mimblewimble a few years ago when there was such a hype around cryptocurrencies such as Grin and Beam who were the first ones to implement uh, Mimblewimble. So right now Litecoin is also going to do that. Now let's have a look at the article with some more explanation about the implementation of Mimblewimble in Litecoin. So Litecoin is getting closer to adding Mimblewimble's privacy features. This is its Mimblewimble protocol implementation initially proposed back in November 2019 already and they're already talking about that for even a longer time before even SegWit was integrated uh, in Bitcoin. So uh, that is even 2017. But the real proposal was done in November 2019 and that aims to add opt-in privacy for those using the network. And the Litecoin Foundation will be submitting the code for review on March 15th. And of course, this is a very important date to remember because there could be some hype around um, Litecoin in the days before this and also after that, of course, um, when the code is in review at that moment. 
However, privacy is one of the features that the silver to Bitcoin's gold as Litecoin is often referred to has arguably been lacking. In order to tackle the issue, developers proposed allowing users to access opt-in privacy by conducting Mimblewimble transactions on an extension box style sidechain. So basically this is how it will be done via extension block style sidechain. So a sidechain on the, on the sorry, uh, Litecoin main chain where these Mimble Wimble extension blocks will be done and this will bring extra privacy and of course as well scalability. Mimble Wimble in turn is a privacy focused protocol that has real life implementations in cryptocurrencies such as Grin and Beam. I already explained that right. Now this is actually something that could cause some hype uh, you would say right and it's true i think this can really cause hype for litecoin and litecoin could become like a hot cryptocurrency in the next several weeks because of this and i'm not the only one who thinks that if we simply look at the holdings from grayscale you see that they have been accumulating quite a lot of litecoin in the last month so in the last month alone, they accumulated 177,520 uh, Litecoin and in total they are currently holding 1.45 million Litecoin. That means that in just one month, um, the Litecoin holdings went up with 15% in the amount of Litecoin. You can even see it better in the last seven day change as well as a 24 hour change. So here it is even more clear that they are accumulating Litecoin while all the other holdings are down uh, or Bitcoin is up with three. Um, but uh, Litecoin is up with 2582 in the last 24 hours um, in Grayscale. So more people are currently buying Litecoin and I think this can cause some price action in the coming weeks and months. Now let's have a quick look here at CoinGecko because I want to show you where Litecoin is currently ranked. So Litecoin is currently the eighth biggest cryptocurrency in the world with a market cap of $12.5 billion. And actually just a few um, months and years ago, Litecoin was ranked a lot higher. It was at some point even number four, number five. Right now, number four and number five, they have like 36, $37 billion market cap. That means triple the amount of Litecoin. So Litecoin has been clearly underperforming other cryptocurrencies in the top 10 and i think because of the mimble wimble implementation this can change so now let's have a look at the bitcoin chart of litecoin first um look at this this is just the only thing i want to show you on this chart since august 2018 there is a falling wedge shaping up for litecoin a falling wedge is a very bullish pattern so simply i think something like this will play out over the next several months going into 2022 even i think litecoin will start outperforming bitcoin again you have these periods for litecoin where it is underperforming bitcoin and overperforming or outperforming bitcoin and i think we will see the overperforming period coming very soon you can also see like this falling wedge is getting more and more tight uh, right now it is sitting at some kind of bottom you can say and i think with the anticipation of mimble wimble this is all litecoin needs to break ab above this um this falling wedge and continue its way up in terms of bitcoin value so i really see litecoin outperforming bitcoin for the rest of this year now let's have a look at the dollar um, chart as well you can see right here that the litecoin chart actually looks really similar to the ethereum chart with one major difference that is that litecoin is underperforming uh, ethereum right now it looks like litecoin is still in um, a stage before breaking the previous all-time high and turning that into support like we saw here for ethereum so a very similar pattern so this is the ethereum chart it broke above the all-time high right here retested that and right now it looks like ethereum wants to go higher we see something very similar for litecoin so a uh, very similar pattern here but we are not yet in the stage of Litecoin going towards its previous all-time high, which is around $360, turning that into support and going for continuation. So you can see that we're currently only at $189. So that means to get above the previous all-time high, so to get to the same stage as Ethereum is currently in, 
we can say that Litecoin still needs to double. So to double to just catch up with Ethereum and then maybe we can see like a similar scenario um, like breaking above the previous all time high of last cycle here, um, turning that into support and going for continuation. I think this is really something that we need to look out for. Now, what could Litecoin be worth in the rest of 2021 or by the end of the cycle? I don't think it is unreasonable to think that from this point, Litecoin will definitely be worth like $1,000, uh, I think still this year or maybe the beginning of 2022. For that, it doesn't even have to outperform um, the other altcoins. They, it just needs to catch up with like the other big cryptocurrencies and then from that point um, do like the same performance. That is, in my opinion, not unreasonable. It's only a good times five from this point to reach $1,000. So I could also say like, yeah, my personal prediction for the end of this year for Litecoin is around $1,000 by the end of this year. So maybe we're going to see something like this happen. Um, I think it is very reasonable to think um, it looks like a very natural chart if it would go there. So this is the outlook that I have for the for Litecoin chart, uh, for Litecoin price. Um, I think it still needs to catch up with the other big cryptocurrencies. And after that, hopefully we see price discovery and from price discovery, it can go very fast. We need, We know that already, right? All right, that was it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to be subscribed by clicking the subscribe button down below. And I'll see you next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.